In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a page out of your product categories on your WooZone or even just your WooCommerce site. It's really easy, really straightforward. Let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. Now, before I get started, I'll just give you a gentle reminder that if you're not already subscribed, click that button below. Do subscribe and click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a page out of one of your product categories. It's basically just a case of adding them to a menu, maybe adding a little bit of a description, and you can have a lovely page that shows off all your products within a certain category. The reason I'm doing this video is because it's a question that I get quite a bit, so I thought, you know, do a video. So I hope you find it useful. Um, but yeah, let's get on the computer and I'll show you what I'm on about. So I'm over at Boot Boutique, which is one of my Amazon Affiliate WooZone type sites. I created it in a previous tutorial quite a while ago now, but I'll put a link to that tutorial in the description if you want to take a look at it. So these links along here are links to my product categories. The categories which I imported my products into uh, when I imported them from Amazon using WooZone. If we click, we can see that it uh, shows the products nicely. It's got a bit of a description, whatever, at the top. Got the title, got some sorting. It's perfect. But it's not always immediately obvious how you add these to your menu. I mean, I do go for it in the tutorial, but if for whatever reason you skipped it or didn't see that bit, I'm doing it now <laughs> for that reason. So let's add another one. And a little bit of room here on my menu, so I'll squeeze another one in. So we need to customize this, which is a menu. So to do that, let's go into menus. You can find it up here or you can find it under appearance and menus. You need to select the menu you wanna edit, which will be the main menu, whatever you've got set to the main navigation. And then we wanna add a product category. Now, if we look down here, we can't actually see any product categories because these categories are blog categories. And you've got your pages and your posts um, and all that kind of stuff, but that's no good, we want product categories. So if you're ever on a WordPress screen and you can't see what you need, come up to the top, uh, go to screen options, and in here you've got some options where you can turn stuff on and off. And there it is, look, the product categories. Let's tick that, and then if we come down here, we can see that it's added it at the bottom. We drop that down, and then we've got all our lovely product categories. We've got most used, or you can just uh, view all of them like that. So I'm gonna be adding Timberland. Let's click Add to Menu. And there it is, you can change what it says if you like. Add an icon too if you want to, I'm not gonna bother just right now. And then click save up the top, that big blue button. So now let's take a look at the site. There we go, Timberland. Then if we click through, we should be able to see all our Timberland boots. And we can, aren't they lovely? Now, if you wanna add that bit of blurb at the top, which I recommend you do, because it's good for SEO and all that kind of stuff, you can uh, click Edit Category at the top here, when you're looking at the category you wanna edit, obviously. And then you've got this description box here, which you can switch to a visual, so you can add images, text, whatever you like. Uh, so I put, you know, Timberland boots, are fantastic, uh, rugged, hard-wearing, yet comfortable, I don't know what I'm writing. You get the idea, yet comfortable uh, boots for women. Obviously you would write some copy that's much better than this, and you probably want a couple of paragraphs uh, if possible. You can add a thumbnail if you want. That only shows if you're kind of um, showing categories on your product, on your shop pages. Um, it's worth doing. If, you, if you've got an image just to, uh, to hand. You've got your Yoast SEO stuff here, so you can um, do a little bit of optimization. Put your focus keyword in, uh, and then it'll give you a score. Got some green there, but obviously you could set a meta description, that kind of thing. Let's view our category. There's my wonderful copy, and there's our category. And you can just kind of go through and look at pages and pages of boots. That's it. So I hope you got that working all okay. If you didn't, let me know in the comments. If you did, let me know in the comments. Just let me know something in the comments. It'd be good to hear from you. 
If you're not already subscribed, which I'm sure you are because I asked you to at the beginning of the video, didn't I? But if you missed that or you forgot, do just click on the uh, eagle up there, click the bell, and then you'll be notified when I upload. There's another video chosen specially for you, so I hope you like it. And there's my other channel. Uh, it's got vlogs and stuff on it. <laughs> do check it out if you get a moment. Until next time, bye for now.